for those that are able to join me, um, I want to say thank you. I'm going to wait a couple more seconds as I'm going to get started uh, regarding a lot of information. And for those that have been following me for over two years, you'll understand what I am talking about. And for those that are not aware, uh, please go back to my old videos uh, regarding Uranium One, the Clinton Foundation, the assassination of Robert Lavoie Finnegan, the Bundys and Harry Reid, Nevada, Gloria Navarro, and Anna J. Brown and others. For, uh, for those that are able to uh, join me, if possible, I'd like for you guys to tag as many Native Americans, Native Americans and ranchers. Uh, please tag them uh, before I get started because I want to bring a lot of things out. Especially our military. Our military is always involved because of the uranium. Uh, uranium-1, it, it doesn't matter, uh, U-235 or U-238. Uranium is uranium. Uranium doesn't discriminate. And uranium does uh, bodily harm. Your liver, your lungs, and your pancreas. Uh, so, uh, especially those in the military. Uh, I would like for you guys to tag, if possible. And ladies. So I'm going to wait a couple more seconds, and then we'll get started. Uh, for the past two years, I've been asking, pleading, for the Native Americans and the ranchers to get together. I, in all my videos, it's ranchers and Native Americans that are paying the consequences with respect to their land and their waters. Uh, this has been done systematically by the de facto government, meaning you corrupt politicians in D.C. That are your judges, your lawyers, your lobbyists, and your, um, and your attorneys. So let me say it again. Politicians, lobbyists, judges, and lawyers. All members of the American Bar Association. These are the same members of the American Bar Association that went ahead and sending our military overseas. They don't have the fortitude, the tenacity, nor the testicles to send their children or themselves to, to war. But they have no problem using our military. And I say to the Congress, any congressman, to any senator, I don't care less, to any legislator, state representative, or city councilman, they don't have the tenacity of the testicles or the fortitude to go to war. But they have no problem uh, in waving the red, white, and blue as they ship off our military, while at the same time aiding and abetting and arming our enemies, like ISIS. But why do I say, why should our ranchers and Native Americans come together? For the past two years, I've been showing you guys and gals of how the de facto government is stealing the land. And right after the assassination of Robert Lavoy Finnegan by the de facto government, uh, he was preaching about the Constitution, meaning educated Native Americans and ranchers regarding Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17, that the federal government can't own any lands. Why is this so vital? Because only forts and ports and 10 square miles within D.C. is what the federal government can own. Nor does the federal government have, doesn't have any authority in selling any land according to the Constitution. That means you show me where in the Constitution, where in the Bill of Rights, where in the Declaration of Independence, or where in the Federalist Papers does it give the federal government the right to sell any land. Federal land or state land. They have zero right according to the Constitution. This is a treaty. And, it, and, and according to the Constitution, it applies to the Native Americans under Article 6, Section 2, Clause 2 of the United States Constitution, which they accept treaties with the Native Americans. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this is because of the fact that two days ago, there were, or one day ago, there was an article that came about, the Apache lands. When I was in Arizona, I brought this information. I was bringing out and informing as many, as many people from Arizona and, and the Native Americans that they are coming for your land, for your minerals. That means your gold, your silver, your copper, and your uranium. And guess who was behind the uranium? John McCain. And as I articulated there in several, in several questions, is John McCain in bed with George Soros? Is John McCain in bed with the Clinton Foundation? Is John McCain in bed with the global, with Clinton Global Initiative? Is John McCain in bed with Greg Walden, 
uh, Ron Wyden, Jeff Merkley, Harry Reid, Greg Brensing, uh, James Comey, Robert Mueller, uh, Peter Strauss, Lisa Page, FBI members, and Barack Hussein Obama, the president, including Loretta Lynch, the Department of Justice. Is John McCain in bed with these criminals? So now I go back to what I said earlier. Is John McCain behind the land theft, land theft for, uh, the lands of Arizona, especially the Apache lands, for the minerals, the water, and their land? And didn't I say uh, two or three days ago on my live stream that John, that Greg Walden, not, not, I apologize, I retract that, not Greg Walden, Greg Brensing, but Greg Brensing that was behind the murder of Robert Lavoie Finnegan, isn't this the same Greg Brensing that's you that's uh, transporting uranium globally? And isn't Greg Brensing in bed with John McCain? And where do you think that uranium is going to be coming out of next? What state? And whose land are they going to steal to obtain that uranium? Because at the end of the day, it's going to affect a rancher or a Native American, especially the American taxpayers. Because these corporations, these foreign corporations they create, they get their permit coming here at the same time they pay zero tax or barely any tax. And while they're here and getting their permits and getting started, your corrupt politicians give them earmarks, pork money. That money comes from the American taxpayers. That is a startup. That pork money is a startup for them to create the foundation of the corporation in which they're going to steal your minerals. If you guys and you gals answered yes to every question that I articulated in this in the caption, you'll understand how deep John McCain is involved. Did it wasn't John McCain also involved with Barack Hussein Obama and the Clinton Foundation when or Hillary Clinton when when Hillary Clinton was the secretary uh, the secretary of state and are aiding and abetting in the arming of ISIS? And who is our military fighting? Isn't it ISIS? Isn't it ISIS also that did a dirty bomb in Syria? And isn't it ISIS the one that's going after Assad in Syria? And yet, why is John McCain not in jail? Why is not John McCain hanging from a tree? Why isn't John McCain hasn't been prosecuted for treason under Article 3, Section 3 of the United States Constitution? Yet we have, we have Mrs. Finnegan... In, in, in Portland, Oregon, re watching or revisiting the assassination of her husband, Robert Lavoy Finnegan. And if we already tied all these conspirators that are, that are behind the, the land theft, the minerals and the water, then how come these criminals are not arrested? How come these criminals are not in jail? What will it take for the American people to wake up? Matter of fact, what will it take for the ranchers and Native Americans to come together? And this is my question to Myron, the Native American that was out there uh, regarding the oil pipeline. Spotted Bear, the other Native American that's out there going, running, chasing the UN. Where are the Native Americans? I think there needs to be a bridge. And this is what Robert Lavoy Finnegan was doing. He was bringing a bridge, uh, closing that bridge between the Native Americans and the ranchers because they're, they're fighting the same criminals. The same criminals that are stealing the land from the Native Americans are also stealing the, the, the land, the minerals, and the water from the ranchers. Why is this that so difficult to understand? Why is it so difficult for these two groups to come together? Why is it so d these two individuals or, or groups cannot come and have a decent dialogue? But most of all, for the sake of our military and national security. And why national security? Because again, uranium, U-235 and U-238 do not discriminate. And it's all to create a dirty bomb. Especially when you give it to North Korea, Iran, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the Muslim Brotherhood, Hamas. What do you think is going to happen? And this is what I'm saying. We don't need open borders. We need closed borders. Because we already know under Barack Hussein Obama regime, they already put ISIS members behind in Mexico. 
And what do you think is going to happen when you have open borders? And this is the same John McCain that is a senator in Arizona and which is also there with Mexico. And don't you think they're going to use the border to, to bring uranium to, ex to basically cause bodily harm upon American people? Because we already know he gave uranium. He armed, your, he, he armed ISIS with uranium. These are facts. These, you got to go to your congressional hearings. And those that live, in, that live and reside within the state of Arizona, y'all need to hear this. Y'all need to circulate this video. Y'all need to basically educate the Native Americans of what's happening with their native land. Because at the end of the day, the facts will speak for itself. So when you're crying and hollering and writing articles that the de facto government is stealing your land, I say, how come you're not marching in front of your legislators in Washington, D.C.? How come you're not shutting down Congress or the Senate? How come you're not shutting down the legislators? Because you, the ranchers and Native Americans, outnumber these criminals. Four or five to one. But it's not up to me. I'm not a rancher. I'm not a Native American. But I am a God-loving American that do care about our military. And know the effects of uranium. And know what John McCain did, including uh, Ron Wyden, Jeff Merkley, Greg Walden, Boy Britton, Stephen E. Grassy, Greg Walden, James Comey, Peter, uh, Peter Strauss, Robert Mueller. So all I'm saying is don't take my word for it. Follow the money. Follow the corporations. Follow what, what Greg, who Greg Brenting is working for under transporting uranium Globally. And as I stated before, go look at my previous videos. There's enough documentation that puts Greg, Greg Brenting in the whole entire conspiracy. So, to those out there, you know, God bless you, God bless our military, God bless our children. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be somebody that's going to be held accountable. And somebody's going to have to pay the consequences. I just hope that it's not our military. But then again, if we're all human, then I, I wish no one, not one man, not one woman, or one child or grandchild should be affected. But at the end of the day, all I can do is bring you the truth, and it's up to you to spread the message. Only you can spread the message. So for those that reside in Arizona, this message goes out to you, especially to our military, and the ranchers and Native Americans in the state of Arizona. So the information is there in the caption. And I wish you guys the best of luck. And thank you.